Hello, hello. Hi there. Hi, tribe. We're Twin Oracles back again with another general reading. Whenever this reading finds you, it was meant to be. We want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your love donations. Thank you for your support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel, Twin Oracles. We love you all so much. Thank you for being here. So we're going to dig into the most important messages that you need to know or hear today. Take the messages, how they resonate in your life. If it doesn't resonate, pop on to another video that does. And always follow your heart. If you're interested in a personal reading or a family healing, a family ancestral patterning healing, we offer that along with group readings and loads more. All that information is linked down below. One more shuffle. Now some of you could be moving. You could be looking for a place to move to. What is the most important message we have here for our lovely viewers today? What do they need to hear? If you're excited for you move, claim it down below and say, I am excited for my move. Verbalizing things that you do want is a great way to enhance manifestation skills. All right, so we have one card. We have strength. For some of you, you're acquiring more endurance. Um, for some of you, you could be going to a gym, perhaps, getting stronger. Others of you, you're being stronger emotionally, physically or mentally, place it how it resonates. It's like you have gone through some sort of battle here and now you're becoming stronger from it. For some of you, you came across some money and that's opening whole new doors many new doors for you, new opportunities. For some of you, you're getting money, perhaps compensation from some sort of accident or an illness of some sort. But for some of you, I'm, I'm sensing some heaviness within the mind. So being in the mind a lot, overcoming fear, overcoming anxiety, panic, worry. I'm seeing some paranoia. Hmm. And for some of you, it's time to celebrate because you have overcome or are overcoming some form of addiction. It could be a toxic behavior, toxic thought patterning. Um, it, it could be any form of bad habit or toxic way of doing or thinking or, you know, it could be drinking. It could be anything. And so you, you're coming out of that. So pat yourself on the back. You invested a lot of your energy overcoming that and now it, it feels like you're free from it and slowly slowly bit by bit you're building back your confidence good for you this is beautiful let's jump into the island time wellness it's like you're ready for a new life. 
Um, it feels like some of you were saying, oh, it's about time. It's about time. All right. Right, because whatever this was, it was keeping you stuck and stagnant. And it feels like... It's like what I was mentioning over here, like things are becoming lighter for you, easier. You're learning truths about who you were and you're discovering more about yourself. You're, you're strengthening the bond and the understanding and the connection within you and yourself, the connection with inside you. Whatever this was, it was keeping you stuck. It was really heavy. It was draining you from, from good things coming and from you feeling good. It was draining you from any happiness or joy or any kind of happy emotion was being drained by whatever this was here. But you're, you're, you overcame it. If you didn't overcome it, you're overcoming it now. You're, you're almost there. You're right there. But this was heavy. This was heavy. This, oh, for some of you, you know, maybe whatever this toxic behavior was, it's like that's what caused you to get into an accident of some sort. And so it, it just derailed you. It derailed you and it was like it was a wake up call. And now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That's weird. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> yeah, whatever this was, it's like, whew, you do have to release it because I'm feeling it's like trying to come out of your body. It's like, let those tears out, let the burdens out, let the heaviness of it out, cry it out, <clears throat> whatever you need to do, let it out, <clears throat> because it's just trying to come out of you. Don't pass over your emotions. Allow them to come out. And to try to keep your emotions balanced. Don't be over the top one way and don't be over the top the other way. Whoa, never had that happen before. <laughs> what else would you like to tell our viewers about this situation, God? But good for you though, overcoming this. This wasn't easy and now it's time to celebrate your victory. Celebrate your victory because this this was not easy to overcome. This was many years in the making. So you have mask. Right, it says not showing your true feelings. So don't, don't keep your emotions pent up. Allow these emotions to come up. Don't hide your emotions. If you're happy, you're happy. If you're sad, you're sad. Be true to yourself and true to your feelings. Because the more you work on releasing the lower vibrational emotions, the more you'll be able to experience these happy, light-filled, joy-filled emotions. Too many cards here. One last card. All right. So you have Axe in the reverse. So the reason why you were doing some form of toxic behavior or toxic thought or old programming or however it is for you, however it resonates for you, it's because you felt separate from who you truly are. And so you felt alone. Something had happened and you truly felt alone in life. And so because of that, you turned to some kind of substance of some sort or some kind of limiting behavior or limiting thought patterning in order to cope or in order to escape the feelings of being so alone. 
for some of you, you've been alone since you were a child and you didn't know any other way to cope other than some form of habit. <clears throat> in showing your true colors and allowing emotions to be released, trapped emotions, letting them release, you will feel lighter and you will feel more lighthearted. And in doing so, you'll start to see the love that is around you. You'll start be able to feel lighthearted. So you'll be able to give love. You'll be able to receive love. And you'll be able to fall in love with yourself all over again. And for some of you, you'll be able to fall in love again with a significant other. This has been really heavy. Um... I can see you've tried and tried again and you've worked really hard to overcome this, but as you can see here, you're in your strength now. You're overcoming this and you're loving yourself more and more every day. This is beautiful. For some of you, you are moving and you could be moving to um, a sunnier place. You came across some money. It could have been from an accident. I'm not sure, but... You came across some money and um, that has allowed you a second chance in life. And so you are moving to a sunny place and you're just so happy and ecstatic. You could even be celebrating over it right now <laughs> with friends and family and loved ones. There's just a lot of excitement here and contentment. And for those of you that are overcoming this hardship of, of yours, this toxic, hard, heavy chapter in your life, just know that this beautiful ending is coming here for you, where you truly love yourself, where you are stronger, and, when, and where you are able to celebrate many beautiful things for yourself also. So keep going. You've got this. You're almost there. Do not give up. Persevere. You've got this. You've got this. And as always, we love you very much. If this resonates, please share, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.